Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dead by Daily video today. It's been a while, but today we'll be playing some of Skull Merchant because Behavior decided to both nerf and slash buff her between the PTB and the live game since her previous versions, which now means that a lot of people are claiming that she has been killed completely. Today, we're gonna figure that out and see if the Skull Merchant changes have basically killed her killer ability. But before we do that, let's go ahead and read some of the changes here. First set of changes says that the Skull Merchant no longer gains haste from survivors having a claw trap. Survivors who are fast felting can no longer be detected by drones. Drones are always in the active state. It decreases the number of scan lines to one. Drone scan lines are only visible within 16 meters. The Skull Merchant gains 5% haste for 8 seconds when scanning a survivor within 5 seconds of deploying a drone or changing a drone's rotation. It increases the drone's rotation speed to 95 degrees per second. They decrease the hindered penalty while scanning um, and having a claw trap to 8%. It decreases the survivor immunity period after being scanned to 2.5 seconds. And it decreases the Skull Merchant's movement speed when deploying a drone or inspecting her radar to 4.4 meters per second. The Skull Merchant's add-ons have also been addressed as well, with the ultrasonic speaker having it being decreased immunity period by uh, 10%, and it was originally 25%. The vital targeting processor add-on has increased hindered from scans by 2%, was originally 3%. Expired batteries makes it where all survivors start the trial with the claw trap, which has a 50% normal battery life. Claw trap battery life increases by 10% for each claw trap received up to 150%. After the initial claw trap of 50%, the next claw trap starts at 100% battery life. So all in all, we have a lot of different changes here to Skull Merchant. We have a handful of new features, and we definitely have a lot of changes where uh, numbers have either been reduced or buffed again from the PTV versions of the Skull Merchant. I believe the developers also left a note at the bottom of this uh, patch notes, basically saying that the Skull Merchant will one day have a future, more overall, well-rounded rework as well. Which I think for the community is a big W, considering the fact that nobody seems to like this killer. But that being said, we're going to go ahead and test out this killer. See if she feels any worse to play, if she feels about the same, good or bad. If at any point you find yourselves enjoying the video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. The goal for the channel is to try to hit a thousand subscribers within this, the end of this year. So let's try to see if we can achieve that. And please feel free to leave in the down in the comment section down below your overall thoughts about the Skull Merchant's patch notes. That being said, I'll see you right in the gameplay. The Mac Mill the State has always been one of my favorite maps, for damn sure. Ugh, Skull Merchants. Ew, I know, everybody's already crying and shaking in their boots. This is the worst killer to play, apparently. I think her weapon's fairly satisfying to play with. But yeah, her design has always pretty much been flawed and abysmal. I get a free guaranteed hit here just because he's walking around in the dead zone. I really don't get the haste ability anymore, but it might still be worthwhile to place drones on occasion. So we're going to place one here, force him into it. Not really going to get much benefit from it, though. I, I guess that's the whole point. But there's not a whole lot of benefit from this anymore. This guy's pretty good. He has to chain everything together. No pallet into the window. Beat him to it. Very slow. Don't have as many any beams. Not much benefit of the drone. I'm thinking it's still like it's still worthwhile, surely, to maybe play some objectives and to use it in the chase. Because if somebody does want to camp around a loop spot, then it does force them into a position to eventually I think get injured, but they can no longer like I no longer get haste. I don't get that benefit anymore. So it's it's very Hit or miss, I suppose. We'll place another drone here. Kind of creative, create a dangerous zone of claw traps from here to there. We can switch our target a little bit to Ace. He's running a different direction. That's our first generator down. He really did that, huh? This Ace really ain't that good. He's just trying to waste all the pallets, all of his resources. He's just gonna keep wasting it. Somebody's here. Place a quick drone before we continue to chase. That's a bit strong up there. Might not be worth finishing the chase. We just gotta double down. 
They all ran up to the top. Damn it, man. This is just a very safe spot for the survivors up here. With the windows and the breakable walls. Can't really go anywhere else. Got a whole lot going on here. Just a bunch of unsafe places. She's around the corner. If I could get a hook in, I could try to pop goes to weasel something. I'll eat that stun. Eat the blinds. She's right here. She's literally right here somewhere. And she ran off! Okay, I'm starting to feel the struggle. I'm feeling the struggle here. I'm not getting any benefit from my drones. Man, I'm not even sure what to do here. Because now she's just hugging this. Okay, we'll force her this way. She's going to have to throw down that pallet. We could break it with brutal strength. Windows blocked. Into the window vault. We should be able to catch her here. Ace is there. Gonna pick her up. Don't know why he did that. Can I pick you up? God damn it, man. What a fucking match. What the hell is this match? Okay. Not really sure what I did wrong there. Maybe I should have went after the Trevor. Because my issue basically arose when I tried to change the direction there. God damn. It's like, why can't I feel like I catch up to anybody? They're always so far away. She basically stuck like glue to all the generators. I think she completed it pretty much all of them. She's gonna run upstairs. No, she's not. We got some classic Dead by the LED sync in the uh, decayed servers. Damn it, she kept running. A bad, a, a bunch of bad and false predictions. Man, isn't this not? This is totally not embarrassing. I have to rely on tier three bloodlust, and I still can't catch up. Now I'm on tier three. Wow, doesn't this feel great? Took tier three bloodlust just to catch up to her. Given the fact that I don't play this game that much, that's a bit crazy. These survivors are pretty good at chaining everything together. Way above my skill level. He's gonna run up on top. He probably has balance landing. I'm probably fucked. No balance landing. He just stuck to his guns. I mean, I'll take it. I need some form of kill. See if I can make it to the basement. I will feel pretty good if I can get in the basement. Please. I don't know if this match is enough to say whether or not she's been completely ruined yet because I did arguably play pretty bad. So, I mean, I'm not gonna like. Yeah, like that whiff. Not even paying attention. Someone's gonna run it in for it. Alright, well, at least now three of them are not gonna be that safe. Her ass perfect. Are they on comms? They have to be on comms. Surely. Oh, Ace! He didn't commit! Nope, he did commit. Fuck, he had the ability to heal. Yeah. Oh, I got completely obliterated. Alright, GG's. They had to be on comms. That was some really good body block in there. The moment the one person took the hit, the other person was already running down the basement. Prestige 100, okay. Wow. Utility flashlight, we have the Ranger med kit. Yeah, okay. I, I was gonna lose that match regardless. We're gonna give it another shot. We'll give it another shot. I will say, as a Skull Merchant so far, without the haste ability, it does feel 
a bit sluggish to play a skull merchant because she's at now like a mouse one a bit uh a killer right even more so which i mean she's always been but you know what i'm saying she has like no chase factor but on top of that kind of like how the trapper has to go around and set up his traps you kind of have to do the same exact thing as a skull merchant you have to set her up before maybe her drones having any like real tangible effect later. Hi. If you want to take a hit, that's fine. I'll take 200 survivors any day. Place a trap here. I don't think Meg is that great, so we're gonna try to end the chase as fast as we can. She dug herself into a corner. Yeah, she's not that great. All right, the strategy then is going to be getting rid of Meg from the match. If I can get rid of her. That would increase a lot of um, pressure for me. One generator already done is the one that we chased them off of because two other people were on it. Both of these generators being worked on. I'm going to go ahead and kick this one. I see somebody going for the save. So we're going to kick this gen and flank around. We got oppression going. Did they already run past me and get to the survivor? I saw the aura. That person has a bi big poofy perk. Uh, so, I mean skin. They should be very visible. Someone's there. They get, they have to be. Place a temporary trap is there. Got to patrol a little bit. There we go. Someone went for the save. Meg's just beelining it straight ahead. Other person's gonna come out here. Nope, they're they're camping the pallet. There's no pallet. Pallet's here the whole time. Fuck, I thought it was close enough. Just rookie mistakes. Dude, why am I just like hesitating so hard? There we go. I just feel like the survivors today that I'm going against are just like pre throwing at the right time. Like they're just playing in a weird way that I'm just not able to predict them. <laughs> they're throwing me for a loop, goddammit. Okay, so she pre-dropped that, so she did a good job. Be lining for this, which she's gonna pre-drop, by the way. There we go. I baited that. Now I need to get her hooks, like right now. Like right now, I need to get I need to get some oppression points going. I don't know if this is the closest hook. I'm gonna hope so. Probably not the most useful one though. Head straight to the middle. Someone's on here. Oppression. Recall this drone. We we'll place another one right here. Let's go over here since someone, somebody else was on this gen that we knew of. They went to run away, I think. They hanging around the hill. Nope. Waste of time. They might be over here. Yeah, I figure. So they're, they are already on the gens pretty good of the ones I'm not on. God damn, not even a single moment. He ain't waiting a damn moment, man. <clears throat> that was fucking weird. Look how much distance he gets. Are you serious? Am I fucking slow or what? This should send him to his death. No, it's not, because he's gonna run perfectly into that window, into the into the pallet. No, he's not. He's gonna double around. Dead hard? No dead hard. I need the pop goes to weasel and the oppression kick. I need them both, but they're gonna get the gen done. Fuck me, man. People are always on top of these gens today, huh? I'm struggling. I feel so damn slow. Look at that. Someone's already here. Chilling. Balance landing? No. No balance landing. I don't want them to view this as a safe zone. <laughs> Fuck you, bud. Fuck you, Nicholas Cage. Fuck you. Boom. <clears throat> Getting picked up. Come on, give me a hook. Give me a hook. That's already kicked. This one probably needs kicked over here. Yeah, yeah. How the fuck did I know? I think it's like, where are they all at, you know? 
Where are they all relaxing? Damn, they, they're just getting so much distance off me already. She was trying to pick the pallet up. It's Meg. Maybe we can down her. All of them are in the corner there. Are you serious, dude? It's like nobody ever falls for that falls for that anymore. Always a perfect amount of distance away from me as well. Damn, man, they don't fall shit. Then she got pallet. Damn it, no haste or nothing. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, that's good. Please, nobody come over here. Actually, I will cry if I have to deal with another survivor pallet stunning me. They're gonna get that one done. There's no way I beat them to it. Yeah, oh my. Look how slow I am. Holy shit, am I so slow. I've never felt this week in my life. Place is here. Someone's in the corner here. It's your boy, Nicolas Cage. They disabled the drone very quickly. There's no consequences for using this. That was a dog shit swing. Now throw that down. Damn you, Nicolas Cage! I want to abandon him now. These guys are in the corner. I need to get someone on death hook. Yeah, 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 yeah. You and your fucking vault. Life. Good perk. How did that miss? Okay, cool. I recovered. I recovered. Again, no favorable coverage. Yes, Meg, I'll take you. Yes. Oh, gosh. Thank you for being worse than the rest of the survivors. She's right there. Oops. She healed yet? She's not healed yet. I thought you were death hook. Oh, my God. She's going to pre-throw. You're not going to pre-throw? Why not? Damn, man. These guys are on the fucking ball today. Oh, nobody's protecting you. Why would they do that to you? A half-decent body block would have really fucked me over there. Damn, why is my frames dropping? Is that her cosmetic that put me down to 80 FPS? Yeah, once I hooked her, now my frame rate's fixed. What the hell? Did you just hold W? It's shake. I got no hooks on them today. But there's no exit gates over here, so I'm not too mad. Oh, there is an exit gate. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't worry. I'm holding W for three hours. I'll catch up to him eventually. Well, um, I think I'm not going to be using Skull Merch anytime soon. These are some pretty decent survivors. These are the good survivors. Um, I just felt powerless. You know, they got the objectives done really fast. And on top of that, um... I feel like I have no ability to end chases or anything. Like, my power kind of feels useless. You can't really use it in certain areas anymore for the haste because you don't get the effect anymore. And since the beam is now reduced to one, even if it's at an increased rate, you don't get any effect or any benefit from survivors going injured. It doesn't really happen. Can't really place it at objectives because they get disabled really quickly. So I'd have to play like in a very like obnoxiously can't be fight can't be way if I wanted any benefit from it. And then on, you can't really place it anywhere in loops because especially if you have a decent team of survivors like these that want to go and you know collect uh, collect uh, connect the loops together, you get no utility out of it either. So. Overall, there's just not much utility to use out of the drones anymore. And even if somebody wanted to commit to a single loop, they'd have to be there for quite a bit of time just to get injured in the first place. So, overall, I mean, have they ruined the Skull Merchant? I'd arguably, arguably say yes. Because the only benefit that she had was the haste ability from her drones in the first place. The ability to be able to... Uh, efficiently build up, you know, the effects, the status effects on the survivors to get the haste and also at least a bit more frequently be able to get people to become injured if they were to stay in your zones. 
because the, the, the having a dual zone, dual laser scans and have them rotate at a decent rate helped um, apply that effect to them. Now I don't really see much use to her. So ultimately, I'm kind of done with the Skull Merchant, but that's okay. Um, I think we as a community can be done with the Skull Merchant for a while. We can just wait and see what they do as a more granular rework, hopefully one day soon in the future. So we're going to definitely keep an eye out for that. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you did, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'll talk to you guys all later. Peace out.